This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for choosing News 4, everyone. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines on this Monday. Missouri Senator Rory Blunt will not seek re-election in 2022. Senator Blunt posted a video on Twitter announcing his decision today. The 71-year-old Republican senator was elected in 2010. He serves as the ranking Republican member of the Senate Rules Committee. Senator Blunt says that he will finish out his current term. Starting this week, Missouri is shifting mass vaccine sites out of rural areas and adding to areas like St. Louis and Kansas City. Missouri will also begin delivering more doses to independently owned pharmacies. This comes as we are now one week away from the next tier of vaccine openings. Phase 1B, Tier 3, will include about 550,000 people. St. Louis County is relaxing some public health protocols starting today. All businesses can remain open until midnight, but the capacity at restaurants and bars will remain at 50%. Indoor banquet halls and conference centers can now have 25% capacity. All sporting venues with spectator seating can submit a plan to the health department to open. And for a full list of the new protocols, you can click on our KMOV News app or go to our website, KMOV.com. For a look at your forewarned forecast, here's Kent. Our terrific weather continues with a beautiful, partly cloudy day, a breezy and mild. The high temperature today, 71 degrees. A little breeze out of the southwest at times, maybe 10 to 18 miles per hour. All right, fast forward with me, and uh, we're going to midnight, Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, I'm sorry, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And you can see this rain move in early Thursday in the northern tier of counties here. And then as we go through the day, this front sinks into the area and kind of settles and then even just maybe flips back to the north a little bit or settles just to the south. The bottom line is we're looking for a considerable amount of rainfall beginning uh, Thursday into Friday and even into the weekend at times. But some of the heaviest will be Thursday night into Friday. Tree pollen still showing up at a high level, but now the elm and the juniper getting in on the act. We've had some maple for a few days now, and the mold count is low at the dry air that we're in right now. So a breezy day at 73 degrees today and partly cloudy, downright windy tomorrow. Could see a spot shower, but very little rain anticipated. Temperatures remain near 70 for the next few days. Thursday, we start to see some rain and storms, especially Thursday night into Friday with a 70% rain chance, 59 degrees for the high. Then the temperatures drop off a little bit, 53 for the high on Saturday with a 50% chance of rain. Right now, they're saying 40% chance on Sunday, but I tell you, I, it almost looks like a higher probability of rain on Sunday than Saturday, but just know that uh, Thursday through the weekend, we're looking at uh, maybe two or three inches of total rain across the area, maybe even more than that in some spots, and that's quite a bit of rain. So a soggy period coming up, followed by cooler temperatures. All right, Kent, thank you very much. That's your news for update. Remember, we're always online at camelv.com, and you can also check us out on our Camel V News app. Have a great day.